Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video I am going to be showing you my art book collection. Um, there's quite a lot of them, I have four shelves of them, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to show you in depth every single one of them, what I'll do is I'll just show you a brief overview of the shelf, and then show you every book that's on there. Um, but if you would like a more in-depth video about my favourite ones, or the ones that I use the most, then leave a comment down below and I can definitely do that. Uh, but I didn't want this video to be too long, and it's quite a lot of books to get through. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is the first shelf. It's my Art of Books and Illustrated Editions. Um, to start off with, this is Film Posters of the 50s. This is a book from uni I got for an essay, and I really like the pictures, so I kept hold of it. It's good references. And this is Wonder Woman, the art and making of the film. Just a really stunning concept art book. It's just, oh, I love the artwork in it. <laughs> yeah, I really like this book. Next is The Art of the Jungle Book, and this is one of my absolute favourite books of all time. I just love the artwork and the film is amazing. Yeah, just stunning, again, stunning concept art. <laughs> This is The Life and Times of Leonardo, and it's a very old book, the side's very fainted, uh, faded, but yeah, Leonardo da Vinci. It's got some really good pictures in there. This is Myth and Magic, the art of John Howe, Ho. It's an amazing fantasy artist, um, it's just a lovely book. I'm trying not to say stunning too many times. <laughs> yeah, his artwork's amazing. This is uh, Black Butler Artworks and Yana Taboso. Taboso. I love Black Butler. It's my favourite anime and manga. And this book is just amazing. <laughs> this is Complete Book of the Flower Fairies by Cicely Mary Barker. Baker? Barker? <laughs> um, very, very pretty pictures. I've always loved them. This is The Complete Paintings of Van Gogh, Volume 2. Really nice reference images in there. It's good, good um, collection of work in this one. I like it. And we have the first of the many Harry Potter books. <laughs> Harry Potter Page to Scream. Um, is this the film wizardry one? I think? I'm not sure. Or is it just called Pitch the Screen? It's the big massive tomb of a book. Yeah. Oh, the complete filmmaking journey. There you go. <laughs> That's huge. This is Harry Potter Film Wizardry. Again, just really good in-depth information about like the making of the film. And it goes into the designs and things, so I like it. <laughs> this is Harry Potter The Creature Vault. I really like this. I really like the designs of some of the creatures, especially the Thestrals. I think they're my favourite. Um, yeah. A lot of these Harry Potter ones I got for Christmas presents. <laughs> uh, this is The Case of Beasts, exploring film wizardry of fantastic beasts and where to find them. I really like the cover of this one. It's really cool. Yeah. Has a lot of good uh, reference images. Sorry if I sound ill, I'm just getting over my cold. <laughs> this is Inside the Magic, the making of Fantastic Beasts, somewhere to find them. Again, a really nice insight into the making of the film. This is my, one of my favourites. The art of the film, Fantastic Beasts, somewhere to find them. Just amazing concept work. <laughs> This is the first of the illustrated editions, so it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, illustrated by Jim Kay. Um, if somebody asks me my favourite style of artwork, it's this. <laughs> and of course I have the Chamber of Secrets illustrated edition as well. It's going to become like um, a Christmas tradition to get these for Christmas. <laughs> I've asked for the third one. <laughs> yeah, I love those two. 
And the last one for this shelf is Queen of the Fairies. It's like um, it's a bit of a weird one, but it's like a pop-up book, and it pretty much shows you what you see on the back. But it's just so beautiful, so pretty, and so detailed. Um, I don't think I've ever actually read it. I just stare at it a lot. <laughs> It's such a pretty book, so I've kind of included it in the illustrated editions. So yeah, this is the second shelf, and this is more of like um, how to draw books. So this is a filmmaker's guide to production design. I got this when I was in uni because I did set and costume design, and it's really handy. It's all about model making and things. And there's Gothic Lolita's How to Draw Manga Step by Step, just really good for like character references and coming up with different poses. It's really cute. Same with this one, uh, Manga Characters. Uh, it's just like a pocket size book of different different types of characters that you can draw. It's really good for coming up with new ideas. This is one of the first um, art books I ever got, Monster Book of Manga. It's so old. I got this when I was in college, so at least 10 years old. <laughs> I used to copy the pictures out of here so much. And this is 101 Tips for Fantasy Painters. Really good book. Just all around good tips. The artwork's amazing as well. <laughs> this is How to Draw Manga Supertone Techniques. This I actually bought off of a friend who was getting rid of a lot of her books. Um, it's a bit more on the racy side. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is another book from uni, Photoshop CS3 Essential Skills. Never actually used it, but yeah, I just keep it just in case. <laughs> ARU Lecture Recommended Book. <laughs> Was it really? <laughs> uh, steampunk, fancy art fiction, fashion, and something else that I missed. But just really good reference images in this one. And the movies. There we go. <laughs> This is my absolute favourite book, How to Draw and Paint Fairies. It's well used, well loved, um, it's got a lot of paint on the back, but yeah, one of my oldest art books. Really good. This is Dark Art Draw and Paint Witches in Their Worlds. Really nice um, ideas in there as well, to come up with your own characters. This is how to draw animals in simple steps. Really useful. I sounded sarcastic then, I didn't mean it. It is actually really useful. <laughs> this is a little skinny book that I bought. It was 20p and it's Introduction to Drawing. And it's actually got some really handy tips in there, <laughs> which I probably should know because I've been drawing a long time. But, you know, it never hurts to go back to the basics every so often. But yeah, I got this for 20p. And same with this one, Introduction to Watercolours. Again, they're only little, like, tiny skinny books, but they've actually got some handy tips in there. Like I said, it's always good to go back to basics every so often, just to give yourself a refresher. Oh, this one, Drawing Dinosaurs. I love it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually used it, but I just can't get rid of it. Because it's dinosaurs. <laughs> This is more of a magazine, The Artist's Guide to Photoshop, um, but I popped it on the shelf just because it's more like a, well, it's a guide, so it's really handy. I haven't used it a lot because I don't use digital stuff a lot, but it will come in handy. How to draw wizards, warriors, orcs, and elves. I'm not a huge fan of the style of this book, but it still comes in handy with like poses and things. This is a good book, How to Draw and Paint Science Fiction Art. It's got a lot of really good tips in there. It's one of the newer ones that I've got, so I haven't had a chance to look through it properly, but it's still really good, and the art's really good. 50 Fantasy Vehicles to Draw and Paint. It's cool. I'm not huge into like tech drawings, but like the atmosphere in some of the drawings is really good. So. 50 Manga Babes to draw and paint. Again, really good for poses and references. Oh, I'm out of breath, I'm so ill. 
Warriors and Heroes, again really good for pose references and just general techniques. It's really good. The art looks stunning. I think I bought a lot of these just so I could flip through the art. <laughs> this is Ink Bloom's Drawn Paint Fantasy Adventure. This one's really good. The artwork is so good in this one. I think I got this from the works when they were having a massive sale. But it's like it's really handy to have. This is one of my ultimate favourites, the future of fantasy art. Some amazing dragon artwork in here. It's just amazing. I love this book. If you like fantasy art, get this book. And it's ripped. <laughs> and this one, Fantasy Art Warriors and Heroes. Again, same as the last one, one of my ultimate favourites. And it's just so stunning and beautiful. I love it. This one, uh, Dragon Art, just Dragon Art. <laughs> it's an amazing book. Love it. Inspiration, impact, and technique in fantasy art. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's just so stunning. I highly recommend this book. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, this l second to last shelf is more just general reference books. So this is the latest edition, like the stars, the definitive visual guide to the cosmos. Um, I'm really into painting galaxies and this is a really handy reference book. Um, actual photographs and it really goes into depth of the constellations as well, like all of them. Uh, this is a book on the Lake District, some really beautiful landscape photos, really pretty. If you've never been to the Lake District, you need to go. Uh, this is Life Story, Many Lives, One Epic Journey. Amazing animal photography in here. So, really good references. So cute. Elephants. Okay, this is British Steam, the guide to the great something. I missed that. <laughs> so professional. Really good references for trains and steam trains. It's really cool. This I've never played Rune Quest. It was on sale and I just got it because it looked cool. <laughs> I think the next couple of books are like that. <laughs> yep, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. I've never played it, but it looks cool and it was on sale. <laughs> I have no self control. <laughs> Yeah, this is Warhammer 40,000 Space Wolves. I thought this was kind of relevant to my uni course because it was like painting miniatures. But yeah, paid way too much for that. <laughs> Still really good images. X-Men is my favourite comic and anything. I just love X-Men. And I thought this would be handy if I ever wanted to do any fan art of it. It's good references. Uh, Fantastic Four, not a huge fan of but it was on sale and it's got really nice images in it so I thought if I ever wanted to do any fan art of it I could, probably won't but you know, they were on sale and cheap and the pictures are pretty what did I say about no self control? <laughs> oh this book is stunning, absolutely beautiful it's uh, the book of British birds and it's got some amazing illustrations of different birds Species, things, <laughs> different birds, amazing. This, uh, A Wish's Guide to Starland. I've no idea what it's for, but it was in the works for a pound, so I bought it. And the pictures inside are stunning. It's like everything I want. <laughs> Galaxies, pinks and purples. Okay, so we're into the Pokemon stuff. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to draw a lot of Pokemon. So I've kept these couple of guides from my childhood because... Like they're handy references and that's probably the oldest book I own and it's very sad and tired but I'll never get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, always handy to have. Okay, so this is Sacred Crystals, really good reference pictures for different types of crystals. 
pretty self-explanatory. And this is animals, um, really good um, illustrations for different types of wildlife and it's the illustrations are really pretty. I said I wasn't going to do a flip through but I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Okay, so the next couple are just photo albums of photos that I've taken, so with different random things I just popped in there just to keep for references. And I suggest doing that if you just want random reference images, because um, I've got a bit of everything in them. So, yeah, it's always handy to have. I think there's one more? Yeah. Just different pictures of different things that I thought would be useful. Okay, so the last, book, uh, last shelf is more like history books. Uh, this is the world of art. It's a huge book. But yeah, you saw some science fiction books on that shelf. I'm just going to show the art ones. Um, but yeah, they're all pretty much just like history of art and history of a subject kind of thing. Uh, this is Christie's London Important British and Irish Art. Just like a compilation of different paintings and things. It's really interesting to flip through. And we have Essential History of Art. I've had this one since college. Um, it's got a good variety of pretty much every style. <laughs> and we have British Watercolours. This is a really old one as well. Don't even think you can see what's on the spine. <laughs> It's good, it's got more like more obscure paintings in it as well. And the architecture of Italy is really good for structural drawings. Um, really beautiful designs in there as well. And we have introduction to Japanese prints. Really beautiful work in there. And getting more into like traditional Japanese art as well. So it's good to read about and Japanese dolls that's really interesting as well a really interesting subject and Victorian watercolours of children <laughs> it was just a random book that I found but the paintings were really pretty so I got it and I think that's it but yeah Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye!